Another day, another card reveal. Let's get it. Young Witch. Elusive to minute one one support. Give my supported ally quick attack and plus uh, one plus zero this round. Okay, I hear you. We'll just go through this really quickly and come back around. Uh, one minute one two fire when I when I'm supported, grant me plus two plus zero. Whoa. Fuzzy caretaker, four mana three three. Oh, it's a fucking it's a fuzzy. When I'm supported, grant me plus three defense this round. Support. Give my supported ally plus three this round. A lot of, a lot of supporting synergy, guys. Uh, tasty faith lock. Three mana four two with lifesteal. Okay. Uh, four mana three four. Swall squirrel strike double my power. Yo, that squirrel is thick. Okay, so for the young witch, uh, two mana one one. Even though it kind of comes with the support and it does have elusive that grants your ally a quick attack and plus one. I generally think like there's not enough tempo in this single card. Like I can already see there's, there's other better supporting champions or like you don't even need to be playing a support champion on turn two. So I don't know. This is like um, there's probably going to be better cards than this, right? Like for sure. The flower child, however, though this is like a decent one drop. I mean, like, if you were to play some sort of supporting champion turn two, not necessarily this one, because this is kind of, like, still pretty slow. Like, you could grant a quick attack, right? It's still just a 1-1. One, one. But I think, like, this, the Flower Child card is, like, not too bad. Like, if you're kind of building a super support deck that's focused around aggression, then this is not a bad card. I do think there's, there's other better one drops. Depends how many one drops you're running and how much synergy you want to have, but... This does become a 3-2 sometimes on turn 2. This card's okay. Ah, oh, the Fuzzy Caretaker though. Like, when you first look at this card, like, it does look kind of, like, on the weaker end. But I think this is, like, one of those cards that, like, there's always cards and sets that they don't look as good, but when you start to see them in action, and, like, once we get more cards and stuff, we see exactly what can be done. Like, this sometimes ends up being pretty crazy. Like, it's got the stat line of a Yordle Grifter, so it's not always the worst four drop to play alone, but, like, the ability for this one card to kind of synergize around the rest of your deck, it's actually pretty crazy. Like, this, this card could be really good. We'll just have to wait and see how many more cards come out, though. I think the Tasty Phalox is generally pretty weak. I don't think the life still like is worth enough on this one card. I think you just like kind of like prefer to like run Eye of the Dragon, you know what I mean? And then like even if you're if you're running a super like tempo deck where you're playing for the board, like this is generally not as exciting. This is not enough synergy in this card, right? Not for now at least. Um, I think the Swole Squirrel is generally a bit of a meme. I mean, if you had some easy way of granting it Overwhelm, that could be pretty interesting. I think the the four mana slots kind of kind of competitive right now, and I don't really have much interest in doubling its power. However, I could be very much wrong actually, because it's still it's still a four mana with four HP, and all, once you strike, you double its power. So it's not hard for this to become a six four immediately. Maybe this card's okay. 4 mana 6 4s are pretty crazy. Like, out of the two, out of like, out of like the Swole Squirrel, in, for example, in the Fuzzy Caretaker, I think the Fuzzy Caretaker is strictly just a little bit better for the immediate value. These cards generally look okay. I think we're seeing some interesting mechanics here. I think the most, um, the most card that probably has the most competitiveness here is probably the Fuzzy Caretaker. I think that's a lot of stats for one card, and it could be pretty crazy if you want to, like, go Targon and Ionia. This could be an okay 4 drop, but it does contest, like, the Tarek slot, right? Which, like, it does contest the Tarek slot. This could be your alternative 4 drop. But, um, there's a lot of really good 4 drops right now. But this does come with a lot of support, uh, synergy. Alrighty, guys, you know what to do. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, come back, see some more of my reactions to these new cards. And if you have any questions or you want to just talk about the cards, discuss some interesting uh, mechanics, you know, get involved in the comments down below. I'm always lurking there getting really in depth some of the conversations. It's really been awesome, guys. I will see you soon.